2005 season actually started in 2004 game against Michigan when Vince made the statement. Yes, sir, we'll be back. This started from the off season, that, that whole grind, and I think that built the, the brotherhood that we have even still to this day. Playing Michigan in the Rose Bowl, getting some experience out there in Cali, putting a great game together. No stranger to us to come out there and win it. For some reason, we just loved theatrics and big games. Yes, we're very confident. I, I feel like the day after I lost the Heisman, I called Rod Wright and I told him to get the guys ready because we're about to go down and show the whole world who we are. Two nights before the games when they did that greatest college teams of all time, and they had SC number one over all these teams, you know, and they haven't even played us yet. They gave that team this year the best team of all time. Nobody gave us a chance, and nobody outside of our locker room, nobody outside of Texas, you know, really gave us a chance. But, you know, deep down in our heart, we knew what team we had. For us, it was just kind of like a calm confidence. So we knew we were the underdogs, but, I mean, we knew we would find a way to win. We just relaxed, you know. We knew we were the underdogs. We knew that uh, we had nothing to lose. We just need to go out there and just handle our business, play the way we played all season. We've been waiting for so long to to play this game, and we heard all the chatter before the game. And uh, our main thing was, uh, you know, I got to stay calm, you know, make sure I get my assignments, trust my teammates, and just focus on the task at hand. And if we do those things, and we will win this game. It was pretty cool, you know. It was our dream was here, but now we got to go finish our mission. Well, me, I was just nervous the whole time. It took a while for us to get on the field because Aaron Ross <laughs> got a punt return, fumbled it, and um, I didn't really have a chance to, to get down on myself because the team rallied around me and a couple of guys joked around a little bit and said, hey, y'all just wanted to stay out there a little longer and play a little more defense. So um, I didn't really have a chance to get down on, my, on myself, and that, that kind of speaks to all of the team chemistry that we had. They drop it off, that little screen action set up for Bush. Oh, look out! You know, when he first broke through the line, I think kind of, in his eyes, I said he thought he was gone. If you think about it, every other game, I said he was kind of the fastest man on the field. He would have just ran away from everybody. But, you know, we have that Texas speed, that Texas defense. Texas has got it! USC never experienced a defense that had the type of speed that we had in secondary. And um, myself and Huff, we chased him down, and he knew he had to do something with the ball. When he pitched it back, I was like, did he really just do that? And then I saw the ball land on the ground. So, I mean, I just instantly just get on the ball. Once you get into the game, the flow of the game, and you know your defense is successful in stopping them, your offense is successful in and moving the ball and scoring touchdowns, you know that they're not the greatest team ever. You know, yeah, they're a great team, but you can play with these guys. So at halftime, it is Texas 16 and USC 10. Coach Brown always says the right thing uh, at the right times, and he said there's yeah, still a lot of game left, and they're as advertised, really good. So. I don't think that the game is over. Keep playing Texas ball. I mean, they're a great team. They came off that second half. They exploded. And I was like, okay, that's the USC I know. <laughs> the coach is right now. Get it back to White, and he runs it into the end zone. At that point, I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know what? These guys are for real. Goes to White, runs up the middle. That'll do it. Holds around the corner. Touchdown. Then the Dwayne Jarrett play where you know, he caught the ball in between both of us. I hit uh, Terrell Brown, broke his forearm compared to hitting Dwayne Jarrett, which may have broke the ball up. Uh, we would never know. It was both land on the ground. That was one of my first times. Doubt creeped in my mind. It's like, I, don't, I hope we put it out, but I really don't know right now. We've been in that situation in the past, and when you got 10 in your backfield, you knew that it, that ain't going to happen. You know, it was never that I wasn't comfortable that we we're going to win. I knew we we're going to have to fight a little bit harder, but. There was never a doubt in my mind that we, we didn't have a game more in school. With him in the backfield, everyone doing their job. You know, ten man and one just goes and <laughs> makes miracles happen. My thing is always preach it to the guys, like keep your confidence up, keep believing in each other, and let's go to war. And that's what we did. We went out there and took it one play at a time and got back into the end zone. Young slips a little, coming back, there's daylight. Here he goes. Touchdown! We just knew we had to give Vince the ball back. Just give me the ball back defense and, and I promise y'all I got this. Just stop them, get us the ball back, hold them. It was just everything we had been through, like I said, just all of our training, us, even though we got down late and we knew we had to make a play, like I said, we just knew, you know, deep down in our hearts that we'd find a way somehow to win that game.
Pete Carroll got to make a decision right here on fourth and two. Yeah, as a football player, you live for those those moments. And I was like, please run the ball my way. Once we saw Reggie Bush on the sideline, we you know kind of recognized the formation. We stacked the box and um, gave our best one-on-one -on -one move, and, and everybody just dove and did whatever they could to get the stop. The D line had a great push. The linebackers all filled their gaps, and the safeties came down and did everything they could to keep them from getting those two yards. He gets it. He didn't get it. Looking back on it, I just feel like they was probably filming a movie or something, and they were just waiting for the, the music to come on. It just seemed like it took them forever to figure out, you know, to pull that, to pull the dang chain to see if it was a first down or not. The second it, it reached, uh, you know, the extension, we knew it, it wasn't, so we went crazy. You know, everybody on defense did their job, and we came up with a play and made the stop. When the defense got that stop, Aaron Ross and Michael Huff ran right towards me. Like, now it's on you, what you going to do? <laughs> so they put the pressure on me and the offense to go out there and win that ball game. Put the ball in number 10's hands and let him win the game for you. And before we left Austin, Coach Davis and Coach Brown asked, the game was on the line, what, what play would you call? And I said, quarterback sneak. <laughs> and Coach was like laughing. And he was like, well, let's just call menu two. It gives you a pass opportunity. And then also, if it's not there, then you can use your legs and take off with it. For us to talk about it here and then also go out there and do it humbling moment for us to go down there and win that game. All right, which man do we have here? Okay, we got our five. Selvin, you got your one. Vince, do what you got to do. Well, I was nervous. First of all, I got to catch the snap. <laughs> Little safety, you know, trying to run up in there. So just had to do my job. Ten other guys were, you know, handling their responsibilities as well. I, I can't let them down. So guy falls down, Vince runs by me. All I seen was a big lane and then just instincts. Run, be wide, run. <laughs> and just ran to the end zone. Fourth and five, the national championship on the line right here. He's going for the corner, he's got it! Just all the hard work we put in to get to that point, you know, it was uh, definitely a humbling moment. Uh, just to see all the fans, tears in their eyes, tears in our eyes, how much hard work we put in to get to that point. You know, a lot of that stuff went through my mind at that moment. Invincible. For me, I was still calm because I knew that their offense still had time. <laughs> I knew we had to go back out on defense. I mean, as football players, we can't we can't get too emotional. I was already like, okay, we, we got the touchdown, but now you know they got two or three plays. We got to go back out on defense. And I happened to be right there on that 30 yard line when the ball sailed, like you know, basically right over my head, and the receiver was right there. And as soon as I saw it go over his head, I kind of pushed the receiver and, and ran out to the middle of the field. It was awesome to just see everybody excited, to see ultimately all that we had worked for come into fruition. After that, it was <laughs> confetti. <laughs> Texas has defeated Southern California 41 to 38 to win the national championship of college football. It's like, wow, I can't believe we did that, you know, and it took so much hard work and, and pain and adversity to get to that point. Man. It was worth every bit of it. I would definitely do it again if I had to. We put in a lot of work, but I don't think that's why we won. I think we won because of how close we were. I think it won because of the brotherhood that we had. To play in the Rose Bowl and the type of game that it was, the, the caliber of players that played in that game, um, still to this day, I don't think there's, there's ever been a game or anything quite like that. Being a part of that game is it's huge. Um, you go somewhere and, and people recognize you just from that being a part of that 2005 championship game. You're almost immortalized to be a part of this university, rich tradition.